Welcome to Herb Nerd TV. Today, we're addressing a pressing concern in the world of health and fitness supplements, the presence of toxic levels of heavy metals in popular protein powders. Protein powders are a staple for many athletes, bodybuilders, and health-conscious individuals seeking to boost their protein intake. However, recent studies have raised alarms about contamination with heavy metals like lead, arsenic, cadmium, and mercury. Let's delve into the findings, understand the potential health risks, and discuss how you can make informed choices to protect your health. The popularity of protein powders Protein powders are concentrated sources of protein from animal or plant sources, including 1. Whey and casein, from milk 2. Soy 3. Pea 4. Rice 5. Hemp They are marketed for muscle building, weight loss, and overall nutrition enhancement. The global protein supplements market is projected to reach $32.6 billion by 2027, reflecting their widespread use. Understanding heavy metals Heavy metals are naturally occurring elements with high atomic weights and densities. While some, like iron and zinc, are essential in small amounts, others can be toxic even at low levels. Common toxic heavy metals in question 1. Lead 2. Arsenic 3. Cadmium 4. Mercury health risks associated with heavy metals 1. Lead Neurotoxicity, developmental delays in children, kidney damage. 2. Arsenic. Skin lesions, cancer, cardiovascular disease. 3. Cadmium. Kidney damage, bone demineralization. 4. Mercury. Neurological and behavioral disorders. Studies highlighting contamination clean label project study, 2018. 1. Overview. A non-profit organization, clean label project tested 134 of the top-selling protein powders for contaminants. 2. Findings. Lead. Found in 70% of protein powders tested. Cadmium. Detected in 74% of products. Arsenic. Present in 55% of samples. Mercury. Detected in 30% of products. 3. Key observations. Plant-based proteins had higher levels of heavy metals compared to whey-based powders. Organic products. Surprisingly, some organic protein powders contained higher levels of heavy metals than non-organic counterparts. Consumer Reports Investigation, 2010. 1. Overview. Tested 15 protein drinks for heavy metals. 2. Findings. Several products contained levels of arsenic, cadmium, and lead that, when consumed three times daily, could exceed daily exposure limits set by the U.S. Pharmacopeia (USP). Canadian Broadcasting Corporation (CBC) Marketplace Investigation, 2020. One overview: analyzed various protein powders available in Canada. Two findings: detected heavy metals in several products, though most were within acceptable limits. Sources of heavy metal contamination: soil and water absorption. 1. Plant-based proteins. Plants like rice, peas, and hemp can absorb heavy metals from contaminated soil and water. Rice is particularly prone to arsenic accumulation. Manufacturing processes. 1. Equipment contamination. Use of machinery that introduces metals into the product. 2. Processing aids and additives. Contaminated additives or fillers can introduce heavy metals. Environmental pollution. 1. Industrial areas. Crops grown near industrial sites may have higher contamination levels. Health implications of contaminated protein powders short-term exposure. 1. Generally unlikely to cause immediate health effects. 2. Symptoms may include nausea, vomiting, and gastrointestinal discomfort if levels are high. Long-term exposure. 1. Lead. Cognitive impairment hypertension, reproductive issues. 2. Arsenic. Increased risk of skin, bladder, and lung cancers. 3. Cadmium. Bone fractures, renal failure. 4. Mercury. Neurological deficits, tremors, vision and hearing impairments. Vulnerable populations. 1. Pregnant women. Risk to fetal development. 2. Children. 
susceptible to developmental and neurological damage. 3. Athletes and bodybuilders. Higher consumption may lead to greater exposure. Regulatory Standards and Oversight United States 1. FDA Regulation. Dietary supplements are regulated under the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act DSHEA, of 1994. Manufacturers are responsible for ensuring safety but are not required to prove product safety or efficacy before marketing. 2. Limits on heavy metals. No specific federal limits for heavy metals in protein powders. Prop 65 in California sets strict limits on heavy metal exposure and requires warnings on products exceeding thresholds. International Standards 1. European Union sets maximum levels for heavy metals in foodstuffs. 2. Codex Alimentarius International food standards that provide guidelines on contaminants. Challenges 1. Lack of uniform standards globally. 2. Variability in enforcement and testing requirements. Industry response and quality assurance third-party testing and certifications. 1. NSF certified for sport. 2. Informed choice. 3. USP verify these certifications indicate that a product has been independently tested for contaminants and verified for ingredient accuracy. Manufacturer initiatives. 1. Sourcing controls using raw materials from suppliers with rigorous testing protocols. 2. Quality assurance programs. Implementing good manufacturing practices, GMP. 3. Transparency. Providing certificates of analysis, COAs, to consumers upon request. What consumers can do research brands thoroughly. 1. Choose reputable companies. Brands with a history of quality and transparency. 2. Look for third-party certifications. Ensure products have been independently tested. Read labels carefully. 1. Ingredients list. Avoid products with unnecessary additives or fillers. 2. Serving sizes. Adhere to recommended servings to minimize exposure. Contact manufacturers. 1. Request COAs. Ask for lab results verifying the absence of heavy metals. 2. Inquire about testing protocols, understand how the company ensures product safety. Diversify protein sources. 1. Dietary protein. Incorporate whole food protein sources like lean meats, eggs, legumes, and dairy. 2. Rotate protein powders. Use different types to reduce the risk of accumulating specific contaminants. Stay informed. 1. Follow news and updates. Keep abreast of new studies and consumer reports. 2. Regulatory alerts. Monitor FDA advisories and recalls. Conclusion While protein powders can be a convenient way to supplement your diet, the potential presence of heavy metals is a serious concern that cannot be ignored. By staying informed, choosing reputable brands, and advocating for stricter regulations, consumers can mitigate risks and continue to enjoy the benefits of protein supplements safely. Key takeaways. 1. Be vigilant. Research and select products with transparent safety practices. 2. Advocate for regulation. Support efforts to establish and enforce limits on contaminants in supplements. 3. Balance your diet. Prioritize whole food protein sources and use supplements judiciously. Thank you for watching Herb Nerd TV. We hope this deep dive into the issue of heavy metals in protein powders has been informative. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more evidence-based discussions on health and wellness. Have you experienced concerns with protein supplements? Share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Stay informed, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.